How are you going to be here? And Deke. For those who don't know what Deke is, it was an animation studio known for its bunch of gadget, the 80s carrot strawberry shortcake, the real Ghostbusters, and Captain Planet. They are also known for an infamous main that a lot of people were knowing when I when I was going to tackle them for their ripoffs. Yeah, they have been known for a few ripoffs. Primarily Heathcliff, which actually isn't technically a ripoff of Garfield since Heathcliff appeared in the Funny Papers before him. And Street Sharks, a TMNT ripoff. And they're now defunct. Due to certain changes in the animation industry, such as children's networks, a lot more stricter standards and practices on Saturday morning blocks by other networks, and due to some poor financial decisions, lead them to their demise and lead to some of their assets being sold to other companies. They were even once owned by Disney for a short while. That's, they're also known for dubbing, being one for the many dabs of Sailor Moon. And, that's basically it about introduction about it. But we're going to talk, now let's talk about the show that I'm going to talk about them from them. Liberty Kids. A show that aired on PBS Kids in the early 2000s. Because, because I've been promising that I would tackle one of their more earlier, one of their older stuff. Not, Far and old, more like stuff that's around during my time. Now you get up, let's get started. The show was about the story of how the U.S. gains independence from England with no sugar going. It, it has made so many topics, such as such as slavery and injustice and and we have here our uh, surrogates here I can't remember names all I know is that one's from, one's from England one's a spy and one works at a printing press for to help spread the work to fight England, England, and and even sometimes interact with some historical figures. Now onto the things I do not like about the show. The rap part of the theme song was really terrible. This is a this part I'm going to mention is mostly probably some of the Americans have to deal with. The rap bar is kind of like how many music artists try to make the U.S. National Anthem hip when they sing it at, like, the Super Bowl. Yeah. Maybe other countries might have that problem when when their music artists do that with their National Anthems. But I digress. Now on to the things I liked about this show. It's portrayal of Star of Friends was pretty accurate. Like, it is not portrayed in a positive manner. It can show you, like, the hard truths of war. Like, it is not jolly. One of the characters... There's a character that even says the N-word in the PBS Kids show, nevertheless. Like... There's even the top. I don't mention this, but there's the, some episodes. This is the ones I watched. Talked about tackled slavery in other religions, <laughs> and it's hard to believe that that this is a deke show. Overall, the show is pretty good. I really enjoyed it. I don't know if it's super accurate, but but 
it tackles some dark subject matter. And there, and this show even has a large fan base. I'm not surprised because Hamilton's fandom exists. And, do the kids want to join it? They can. It's slow paced, but it has some a lot of core talk. And this is totally the show that I'm reviewing here. It's totally the show you're expecting me to do a review of. And totally nothing else. You're expecting nothing else. <laughs>